Programming inside of Design Center has always been pretty straightforward with objects and procedures and tasks uh, and creation and management. With Design Center 3.0, we've added quite a few new features that I want to run through with you, uh, including uh, new energy management tasks, uh, live scene settings, some power saver modes, uh, email, uh, sending emails from specific uh, tasks, and uh, the true vacation mode, as well as a couple of other management aspects. So let's start off in this project and show you some of the energy management tasks. Uh, in this project, I've created a sample keypad load, a couple of loads, a lighting load and an exhaust fan in this bathroom and a keypad for it. And uh, this vent button here in the middle would typically be a simple toggle on and off to the exhaust fan. But in this case, I want to take and enhance that a little bit and put an auto off. Now, you've always been able to do this with a simple toggle, then follow that up with a delay command, and then write an off command. It's not hard. But we wanted to make it a little more streamlined for those of you who uh, wanted to save a step or two. So we've created this set of tasks in the lighting, advanced control, energy savings section. So in this case, for 3.0, we've added dim with auto off, on with auto off, and toggle with auto off. And in the case of this exhaust fan, I'm going to use the toggle with auto off because I as opposed to the dim with auto off because I don't need to press and hold this load. Uh, it's not a rampable load. So I choose toggle with auto off. I have the description over here to the right hand side of what it will do telling me about the parameters. I go to my loads tab and I find the bathroom exhaust fan. I check the box. Go to my levels tab. It's going to be 100%. It's a relay load so it's going to be 100% anyways. I go to my miscellaneous tab and I'm going to choose a zero and a zero for the fade and ramp time. Uh, since this is a relay load, I don't need any of those. And in this next field, the off delay, I have hours, minutes, seconds, and milliseconds in these four sections left to right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this have an off delay of 20 minutes, meaning it will wait 20 minutes after I press this button before it turns off that load. It will still turn off with the toggle, but this will be the auto off portion of it. And then I'm going to change my off fade time to zero as well. Uh, my LED action, I'll set to all loads on, meaning if the exhaust fan's on, the LED will be on. And then, of course, I can give it a name. In this case, I'm just going to call it the uh, bathroom fan toggle uh, with off. And I click OK. And it's as simple and as straightforward as that. Now I've just created a, an auto off without having to go back in and create some additional lines of code for the delay and the off. Pretty cool. Uh, what else have we done in 3.0? Let's go to the kitchen so I can show you this next section. I've created a keypad here for you to look at and uh, for us to use. Uh, and quite a few loads in the kitchen, some cans, some pendants, some accent lighting, etc. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a look at a task that I've created already, which was a standard dim. Uh, just a, a press and hold and a press and release for the on and off for the uh, kitchen lights, and it sets a specific scene. But what's different now is that I have the ability to, inside of Design Center, to manage the load levels specifically that I want this task to set the loads to. Let me show you what I mean rather than tell you. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to edit the task. So what I've done is I've already created the dim, just like I created that toggle with auto off, and I've selected the loads. So here are my loads in the kitchen and my levels. Okay? So I could go into here, and in years past, this is what you've done. You've maybe uh, chosen 50% here, and this one was 75. This one was 85, and the nooks were 75 also. Now, and that works just great, okay? And, and there's been no problem with that, but now you test it. You see if it works, and you're like, okay, nope, that's not exactly the load level that I wanted. So what we've done is we've added, if you can see here, this Adjust Levels uh, Live button, which pops up this dialog box and lets you real-time go and set those loads to the new level while you're watching them. So I don't know if you can see, but there is a yellow V up here in our toolbar, right? And uh, 
we are looking at the adjust levels live because we have a live connection to the uh, controller. So I'm sitting in the room, I'm setting the values, and I slide over, I can grab a couple more loads, and I want that one there, I want this one here, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, right? So now I've just set those, and I hit save, and now you can see, if maybe you saw, that the levels reading inside of here have now been set to those specific adjust levels li uh, live sliders. Really cool, really nice, able to save you some second guessing as to if that's the correct value or not, uh, especially for mi multiple load scenes. Uh, very fun uh, uh, addition to the dim, and uh, you can use that in ons, you can use that in toggles, uh, anything that will turn the loads specifically on lighting loads on. That's called uh, adjust levels live.